In today's video, I'm going to show you 10 things that you didn't know about Project Playtime. Early access. Mob Games recently did a Q&A and they said that they're expected to leave early access and officially release Project Playtime by mid-year. I thought it was a fun news to start with. Nail puzzles and perks. So in the Q&A Mob Games did recently, they also said that they're planning on adding new puzzles and perks to switch up the variety. So I am looking forward to their ideas of new perks and puzzles and maybe I can help them. Higher jump perk. So in the new cinematic cutscene for the Valentine's update you can see the player jump up the stage. And we can do that, so that made me think, what if we get a new perk that lets you jump higher? I think that will be a nice perk to add to the game. Challenges. If you are in the lobby waiting for a game to start and you press ask, you can see 4 things. Continue, settings, leave game and most important challenges. And if you press on it, it won't do anything. So I think that we are getting challenges in the future. And I'm so excited for that because it will make the game more fun to play. Delivery pipe. If you go to the delivery pipe mid game and you and your team collected a couple toy parts, you can see the toy being built in the delivery pipe. And I really like that. And that's where you can see that Mob Games puts a lot of details into their games. Helpful place by delivery pipe. If you and your team got all the toy parts and you have to pull down the delivery pipe, there's a helpful place where you can pull down the pipe, what you are seeing right now. And yes, Boxy can get you with his arm and as a monster you can hit the player from the ground, but it is really hard to see the player, so it could help. It, I thought it was worth mentioning. Cannon. In their Q&A, Mobgames also said that Project Playtime Cannon is to the Poppy Playtime lore, and that's pretty interesting because there are a lot of hidden things around the maps. Project Playtime is a prequel. Project Playtime is a prequel to Poppy Playtime because we are research extraction specialists and we have to collect toy parts in a factory when it isn't shut down, what it is in Poppy Playtime. The theater map looked different. In the early files of the game you can see that the theater map looked different. At the beginning there was a fountain and that is now the Poppy statue. And the main stage area was really different. There were a lot more chairs and there was a huggy doll on the stage. But I think what we have now is perfect. New map. So there are lead maps for Project Playtime. One big map where you almost need two toys to make it fair. And a feature testing map. With a lot of cool features like a drawbridge. But I don't think we are gonna see any of these in phase 2 because they need a lot of work. So that were all the things I got for today and if you enjoyed please subscribe and leave a like. It takes a lot of time to make these videos and it will help me out a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers!